Welcome back to the Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here. And we have some Pete the Cat stories, so check those out. This one is called Pete the Cat, Pete's Big Lunch. Here comes Pete. It is lunchtime. Pete is ready to eat. What should Pete eat? A sandwich would be nice. Yes, Pete wants a sandwich. Pete opens the fridge. He takes out a loaf of bread. He finds a yummy fish. He adds tomato and mayo. Pete looks at his sandwich. It is too small. Something is missing. Pete knows what he needs. His sandwich needs an apple. Pete loves apples. His sandwich needs crackers. Crackers are crunchy. Pete loves crunchy crackers. Pete looks at his sandwich again. It is still too small. Pete is very hungry. Pete adds a pickle. Pete adds cheese. Pete adds an egg, two hot dogs, a banana, and a can of beans. Is that what you put on your sandwich? Something is missing. Pete adds ice cream. He takes three huge scoops. Pete's sandwich is too big for Pete to eat. Pete wonders what to do. Pete thinks and thinks. Does that sound like a good sandwich to you? What would you do with a sandwich that's too big? I've got it, Pete says. Pete calls all of his friends. He asks them to come over. A great idea. Everyone goes to Pete's house. They are all very hungry. Pete shows them his big lunch. Are you hungry? Asks Pete. Pete's sandwich is big enough for everyone. Dig in, says Pete. Pete's sandwich is good. Pete's sandwich is very good. Pete's sandwich is all gone. Pete's friends are full. They liked Pete's big lunch. Thanks for lunch, Pete's friends say. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Pete says. Sharing is cool. All right, for more great stories in the Reading Corner with Miss G, subscribe here and we'll see you next time. Enjoy your sandwich with a friend.